Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. I hope you had a wonderful break and you were able to have some fun and relax and just kind of just uh, enjoy being with your family. Okay, well, we are back now in school and today is Wednesday and in language arts, what we're talking about is having to do with our name, okay? I'm trying to get that situated so you learn that class has two S's. That was bugging me there, okay. Um, okay, so with our name, this is not anything new. I know we've talked about it before, but part of pre-K is going back and talking about things again. That's what we do in pre-K, you know. And so, Hopefully you have all the pieces to your name folder that I made you. If you don't, that's okay. You can still use the name folder or if you can't find it or something's going on, you're in the process of moving or it's been misplaced or somebody kind of ate it maybe, a dog or something, um, then you can make something else, okay? Because this is real important that we work on our first name. Now, some of you families may be ready for your last name also, and that's okay. We want to keep these things in a baggie so that you have them close by and that when you have time that you're doing language arts things, you know that's your time or when you have some downtime at home, you can pull out your name, okay, and you can work on your name. Okay, first thing I did is I wrote my first name on just a piece of paper. Of course, you know, I have sentence strips. <laughs> you don't have to use sentence strips. You can just use a piece of paper, okay? But families, be sure and put some space in between. Now, normally, friends, when we see our name, the letters are right beside each other. They're bumping. They're touching each other. But I put some space in between them this time. But we don't normally do that unless we're trying to say that's a different word. But this is all one word and I just put some space in there. Okay, so let's say the letters. G-I-N-A, that's my first name, Gina, okay? So, I'm gonna take my little camera, I'm gonna shoot it down so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So let me fix my stuff, that's my little placement I forgot to move before we got started. Okay, so let me move this up. Sorry, friends. Can I out of, out of practice here. So, so there's my name, right? Okay, so now, now some of you may have the little cards with the letters. You can use popsicle sticks too. This is great practice for that. So the first thing would be just to match the letters. That's the G, and when you're doing it, you wanna say the letter and practice working on the sound the letter makes. G says G, G. I, look, that's the same I. I says I, I, wrinkle your nose. N, I'm matching my N right here. N says what? N, N, put my tongue behind my teeth. N, N. Last one is A. A says what? Ah, ah. Good job. Now, I'm gonna try it again. This time I'm gonna use the back side so I have to match. This is a capital and the rest of these are lowercase. So I'm gonna match the opposite one. So where's the lowercase g? I'm gonna put them out. Okay, which one is the lowercase g? Can you see? Do you know? Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. This one? Yes. This is lowercase g. Okay. Very good. So, which one of these shows the lowercase i? Or the capital I, I should say. This one right here. Here's i, and i makes what sound? I, I. We forgot to do G, sorry. G says G, G. Now this is an N. 
where is the capital N? Right here, right there. N makes what sound? N, N. What letter is this? A, and what sound does A make? A, ah, A. Ah. And where's the capital? Right here. So this is going over numerous things, boys and girls. It's helping you understand the letters in your name, the sequence, the order, and it's helping you to identify the letters so that you're saying the name of the letter as you're touching it and as you're matching it. But then also, you are learning the capital and the lowercase, which ones go together, okay? So this can be done in different ways where if you want to cut up and have a capital and a lowercase on a piece of paper, and you have the capital G and a lowercase g, and you have to match them, okay? You can do this lots of different ways to make this game harder, to make it last, so that you can learn more skills, okay? Now, you can also use your name puzzle, your letter puzzle, I should say, and your family could say, okay, find the letter G. And so you find the letter G and you can put that letter on top of your name, okay? Now this is an activity that you need someone there beside you to help guide you the first few times. And if you're matching the letters, you need someone to check to see if you did the right letters, if you did them correctly, okay? So we do need some help because we need someone to say, well, that was a good try. Try again, what is the letter that comes after G? Remember, it's before N, it's not G, it's I, I. What sound does I make? I, I, wrinkle. You know, so someone is there to help you, okay? Because we need lots of help so we can learn our first name, we can identify the letters. We, When we see our little alphabet, we're going, hey, that letter's in my name. My name starts with that. That's the next letter in my name. That's in my name too. And then that's in my name. And that's an A. That's So you can start finding the letters and telling our family what those letters are. That's what we want to get to. That's super important, okay? Okay, make a video. Do the work, do the activity with your name and show me, okay? Okay, guys, make it a great day. Bye-bye.